there is something very wrong when long-term strategic decisions are made in a hidden office. So after a handshake, after a lunch, where a couple of guys meet somewhere and decide, okay, let's host Olympic Games or let's transform this waterfront. And it happens very often that very important decisions, that decisions that will influence a couple of generations in a city are, are made without democratic, uh, without a democratic decision making hidden from the from the accountabil from accountability and in Valencia it happened like that but the, the story the story uh, is coming from a long time ago I guess if you think about Spain in the 90s so Spain in the 90s was opening it was in a moment of growth it was a fresh new democracy it was a fun place that was just welcoming you know, the world and opening its gates again and Barcelona in 19 92 host the Olympic Games that actually really fostered a transformation of the city. It created, it, it, it actually uh, created the opportunity for public investment in public transportation, in waterfront development. Sevilla did host the Universal Exhibition in 1992 as well. And somehow Valencia or politicians in Valencia had a sort of inferiority complex. And they said, we really need something like that. We need our big event because we deserve that. But it, come, it came a bit later. And if you think about what cities were doing at the end of the 90s and in the 2000s in the Western world, there is probably no big city that has been completely free of creating a new massive cultural center, of building a new sports facility, of trying to host an international event, of building a fa fancy aquarium or a casino in the waterfront. No? What I mean is like this standardized project base, big scale uh, sort of development. I think the city of Valencia did that on steroids with this massive cultural and art center designed by Santiago Calatrava, with the new conference hall designed by Norma Foster, with the transformation of the waterfront, with a billion euros investment, with a fancy uh, David Chipperfield hospitality building. And, and this place was transformed to host First, the America's Cup of Sailing. After that, the Formula One. And the America's Cup is supposed to be the Olympics of Sailing. So the event happened, the international uh, showcase happened, but it didn't have any single, I'd say, like equity or sort of social democrat elements as the uh, Olympics in Barcelona had. So the Olympics in Barcelona had international projections, but it served, it, it worked for solving city challenges to improve the quality of housing, to have better public transport, to improve public space. But America's Cup was not organized to solve any urban problem, but only for the goal of attracting tourists and get more hours on TV and more international protection. And um, what happened is that when the big events were gone, after five years of Formula One, after a couple of editions of America's Cup, the water from after the investment, it looked shiny, but nobody was going. Nobody was using it as a daily life place. And if you look, if we looked at the waterfront area in this particular period, it actually showed a, a, a sort of a tale of two cities. So on the one hand was this old harbor, luxury marina, big events place where the Russian oligarchs were coming with their judge to see the Formula One. And next to that, there was, at the walking distance, there was the fisherman neighborhood, El Cabañal, El Cañameral, which is the neighborhood with the worst economic and social indicators of the city, with a lot of issues to be solved in terms of public space, in terms of safety, in terms of public infrastructure. And the development of the waterfront didn't solve any of those issues. And actually the, the fisherman uh, quarter got even relatively worse during those years. And, I like, and, and there is a very visual metaphor because during the Formula One, when the Formula One was uh, broadcasted on TV, there was a black fence that prevented the cameras to record El Cabañal. But funny enough, El Cabañal, it is a very beautiful neighborhood. It is a neighborhood with a strong character, with very beautiful small houses, with a very strong street life. 
but Valencia was a city that as a macro policy didn't recognize the value of a neighborhood of El Cabañal and who had to organize something that could be host elsewhere as Formula One that was fairly expensive, paid with tax mayor, taxpayers' money. It was an economic failure and actually didn't solve any social and economic issue, issues of the, of the urban fabric of that area.